Welcome back, everybody. We're back together with another video and we're going to be talking about diversity, equity and inclusion. Now, the good news about that is it's actually dying across America now. Uh, University of Florida, I don't know if you heard about this. They fired their whole entire DEI department uh, because um, it's not about diversity, equity, inclusion. It's about uh, Marxism. But apparently Warner Brothers, um, they still want diversity, equity, and inclusion. And they got this uh, chief diversity officer or chief DEI officer, which is a fake job. These things are not real jobs. They're not in demand. I believe that DEI is going to fall apart everywhere over the next few years. I mean, it's already been declining um, by like 90 percent since uh, George Floyd. Mm -hmm. So look at this here. Warner Brothers Discovery Chief DEI officer endorses discriminated against employees who disagree with DEI ideology. They'll lead themselves, which is great. I mean, when you see this title. What is going through your mind when you see this right here? That they don't want to deal with people who don't listen to them. Yeah, people that they uh, disagree with or disagree with them, they basically want them uh, canceled. Yeah. I mean, I don't believe in um, DEI. I believe in diversity. Yes. I believe in inclusion. Yes. But uh, I don't believe in equity. Equity is on uh, Marxism, but I don't believe in forced diversity. DEI is nothing more than forced discrimination. It's really racism with another name, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Um, it says here, according to uh, Warner Brothers Discovery Chief Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Officer Asif Saeed or Sadif. I don't know how you pronounce his name. Uh, companies seeking to foster a culture of DEI should not seek to compromise with those employees who disagree with the concept of identity politics, but rather outright discriminate against them until they quit. So you mean to tell me. Let's say that I'm um, writing um, Superman, for example. Since they got the picture right there and we know what Superman looks like, Superman, white guy, dark hair with the curl. But they go out there and they tell you, you know what, we're going to implement diversity, equity and inclusion, and we're going to change Superman and make him black. We're going to make kal black. And I'm saying to myself, well, kal is not black. He's white. And then they're basically going to call me a bigot because I don't want to bow down um, to the to the woke altar of DEI. Mm -hmm. And they're going to want me gone. So I. I. Do not agree with DEI. No, I don't either. Like he's um, a chief diversity, I mean, chief officer, right? Yeah, chief diversity, equity, and inclusion officer. Yeah. In this position. It's not a real position. It's something made up. Well, he's a chief officer. Do you think that a chief officer should listen to what the employee said before Firing them or, you know, well, making well, final decision. Well, like I said, all these uh, diversity, equity and inclusion uh, officers, they're not real jobs. Think it is here. Warner Brothers, the characters are already established. How can you actually implement DEI into that? What, what kind of job is that? I mean, think of this. You make it a Superman movie. You got the comic books. Follow the comic books. I mean. The person that's actually making a script, right? The writer or whatever, they're determining the script and everything. Why do you need a diversity department, a DEI department? Doesn't make any sense because that tells me that you're not actively going out there trying to get the best people. You're trying to get the wokest people. Yeah, that's why I think too. But in that position, without the DEI, I'm saying in that position should. The officer focus on making profit for the company and they don't care about that. At the same time, listen to employee, you know, what they have to say. 
Yeah, and their, and their shareholders, I'm pretty sure shareholders, yeah, shareholders. are not going to be um, very happy. I mean, look at what's happening with the uh, Disney um, shareholders. They're not happy at all with Disney. Disney has cost them a whole bunch of money because of DEI and wokeness. Disney told you, yeah, we're going to go out there and we're going to make like 50% of the characters like gay and uh, these different uh, other ethnicities and colors or whatever. People rejected it because people, you know, they just want good content. They're not even giving good content. But do they know that if there's no employee working at the company, it just won't work? Well, they're, they're going to go out there and they're just going to get unqualified woke people. That's all they're going to do. They're going to lose a whole bunch of money and they're going to piss a whole bunch of people off to have a um, equity stake in uh, Warner Brothers. Yeah, that's going to do. Like I said, this is not a real job. It's not. Wait a minute. He refers to himself as Dr. Sadiq. Really? OK, he has a doctorate. Wow. He has a doctorate and he's still. Just because you have a doctorate does not make you smart. It doesn't make you smart. I just want good content. And apparently, you know, that's that's just too much to ask, you know, in um, in 2024, because everybody in the DI department, they're all woke. They all are because the whole department is created out of wokeness. So you're not going to have a base person at all working in a DEI department. Yeah, and this reminds me of the situation where um, the company is the airline company. They include oh, inclusion yeah. about Amer hiring mentally. Yeah, wasn't it American Ill Airlines, I think? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sorry for, I have sympathy for, you know, those mentally illness people, but when it comes to hiring them to fly the plane, yeah, that is another story. I don't want any mentally ill person anywhere near an airplane. Yeah, it's not <laughs> discrimination. It's about jeopardizing, taking a big risk, jeopardizing not only their life, but other people's life. Yeah, people are dependent on them, you know, to make things safe. Now, of course, uh, Warner Brothers says a lot different, you know, than an airline because the airline people can actually get killed. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, did you actually hear about since you brought up the airline? This is about a month ago. I think it was on um, Alaska Airlines. Uh, a door got blown off while they were like in the air. They weren't super high up. Mm -hmm. But if they were like at a 35,000 feet, a whole bunch of people could have got killed. That's wokeness right there. The proper checks weren't done. So, oh, man. Yeah, that's pretty bad right here. But anyway, yeah. uh, this right here, man. Yeah, th this is crazy. He actively wants discrimination on employees that are not down with the woke agenda. I got to say this, man. If you're working for one of these companies, it may be a good paying job, man. But go and find something else. Go and find something else, man, because... Only the powerful shareholders can actually really make a difference. And chances are they're probably woke, too. So I um, think that's going to wrap it up, though. Uh, good episode here, guys. We appreciate um, the support. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out the merch. We have merch. If you go to the merch store, you're going to get 10% off the new merch. So with that being said, guys, you guys have a great weekend, and we'll catch you on the next video. Goodbye.